Hey everyone, welcome back to Gundam Build Guide. I'm Ian Buster Green, your host. So once again, I'm trying so hard to get monetized, and today I only need 882 watch hours to get monetized. All right, thank you guys. We have once again managed to get the number below 900. Although today is a critical YouTube power day where more people watch YouTube than normal because it's so cold out. So I really need to push my channel really hard today or I will suffer for it. As a result of the YouTube power day, I'll be doing a random Pokemon live stream later tonight because I just want to grab me a piece of that YouTube power. All right, so a lot of things to go over today in the uh, new Gundam news. And first big news of the day, Gundam Witch for Mercury season finale is unfortunately not going to air until next year. So originally the season finale was supposed to air on Christmas and be a fantastic Christmas present for everyone and something to like mull over for the entire holidays. Because, you know, they could, like, do anything with the finale. They could, like, have a super depressing reveal that Sole is actually a zombie or a tanuki or something. And, you know, that would just ruin the Christmas holiday. But unfortunately, because Episode 7 missed its originally intended air date, because Minika Nanora's VA, Yume Miyamoto, came down with an unfortunate illness, there was such a big scuffle that they've officially recast her. And because Episode 7 didn't air the day it didn't air, the scuffle has now caused the season finale to miss its air date slot. So that sucks. And to make matters worse, because it missed its air date slot, and because there's holiday programming for the Christmas break, the network had to really struggle to schedule a new air date, and the new air date is now January 8th, almost a month from today, and two weeks past where the finale was originally intended to air. Damn. What a disaster. Now at least this hopefully means there will be less of a gap mentally between season 1 and 2 because there's supposed to be a hiatus. I think the plan right now is for season 2 to drop in March. I think that's still the case. Anyway, uh, that sucks, but that's the way it is. Alright, next piece of news. The Gundam Park in Fukuoka is doing a bunch of crazy things. Now first things first, they're going to launch a new special campaign to tie into The Witch from Mercury for the next month. I am not sure what that means. It probably just means they're going to play the G-Witch soundtrack more. But hey, they released a super cool new poster, which interestingly also shows the Aerial Gundam in front of a UC-style cylinder colony, which isn't something we've seen in the show yet, but hey, it's cool. Now, also, if you need even more of an excuse to visit the Gundam Park in Fukuoka, the fantastic prefecture of Fukuoka, they have a special product this month. The special product is Gune Gus's Psycho Doga, from the original Belta Chica's children novel. Now the Psycho Doga is a CCA MSV unit designed by the original CCA mecha designer Yutaka Izabuchi, the guy who later directed Razafon, and it's a pretty interesting design. It's basically the missing link between the Sazabi and the Yag Doga, and I kind of love it except for the fact it has a nerdy hat like baked into its skull. Otherwise, I love the white color scheme, and yeah, it's a pretty sick unit. It's got funnels at its shoulder, it's got like a weird riot shield. Very kind of a police officer vibe. Anyway, yeah, speaking of white suits, the RX-782 rollout color scheme with boost armor will also be releasing soon as a figure. I like this design. I think it's Tamino's originally proposed realistic color scheme for the Gundam. And I super like the way they put all these decals on it to make it look way more scientific, like a space shuttle or something. And F it, if I'm just going to cover all the model news, one last thing, Premium Bandai will also be doing a very limited, very detailed run of the HG model of the Rose Gundam from G Gundam. Alright, that's everything, you're welcome. Alright, now let's flip over and talk about Gundam Breaker Mobile, where there's almost nothing to talk about. I'm sorry guys. So we have another useless banner this week for another previously free charity suit that no one really wants, and this week it's the Hyakushiki. Now it's a Hyakushiki that can go 7 stars, but I'm sure if you've been playing this game for at least a year or two, you should have the Hyakushiki by now. The only thing new about the new Hyakushiki is the legs have a very nice cooldown attribute, and the backpack deploys the high mega launcher, which is a pretty sick move as usual. Uh, so if I am going to be real with you guys, the original charity Hyakushiki kind of sucked, so this is definitely a better Hyakushiki. But it's a better Hyakushiki for money, so I don't know if you really want that. Other than that, completely empty week in the game. We're up to week 3 of the Try on 3 event, stretching out that content for just another week when it was already stale. Yeah, the Try on 3 is a good suit, so if you haven't got it yet, definitely get it. 
But yeah, otherwise, there's almost no new content this week. The only other thing is there's a brand new battle circuit. It's extremely easy. I completely destroyed it in under three minutes. All right, that's all for me, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I will stream later tonight, so come to that stream. I want to take advantage of this YouTube Power Day. Thank you. Good night, everybody.